Welcome to Single Parenting with Comment, a program where we air your stories and challenges and provide intellectual solutions to it. Like we know, today is a very special day. Today is very special. We have a very wonderful guest live with us. We have um, our very own Uju Asomta. She's a beautiful lady. She's a mentor. She's um, a philanthropist, someone who has been in the struggle of helping single parents. She's a wonderful person who you would like to know. She's a beautiful person who you like to meet. And we're privileged to have her on this show today. We're actually very, very privileged to have her on this show with her very busy and tight schedule. She has just made her time to be with us and take us through a very sensitive topic today. Like we said earlier, uh, today we are talking about how to handle as a, a low self-esteem as a single mother. How to handle a low self-esteem as a single mother. I want to, she's on now and I know we're ready to have her here. Wow. I'm so happy. So beautiful. Finally. Wow. <laughs> Finally, they are here. <laughs> Finally, indeed. Right. Finally, yes. indeed. Wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You need, to, you tell, you, you need to tell me what you do to look this beautiful. It's God. At least we can actually steal from you to know what you're doing. Yes, I drink plenty of water. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. What and I keep my one. body and soul happy at all happy, time. Yes, exactly, yes, exactly. So how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, and you? Fine, thank God we're fine. Thank you. You know, I can't I, 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 I just cannot introduce you enough. I understand. So but my people out there would like to meet Uju Asomta. I also would okay. like to meet Uju Asomta, you know. If you don't mind, right. please tell us about yourself. Okay. Um, like you just called me, my name is Uju Asomta. I'm a social advocate okay. and an activist. I'm the single mother of three. Wow. Three boys. Wow. Um, three boys. Sorry, let me cut you. You said three boys. Yes. It means you have, you have a whole army. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah. So um, I run an NGO, the Jubicare Foundation. Yeah. It's all about transforming our world through our children. Yeah. And I went into a single motherhood, inspiring them, teaching them, and into transformational education because I figured out that there is no society without the children and there is no society without the mothers. Yeah. So being that, it brought me into, um, it, it got me interested in the single mothers and also because I'm a single mother myself. So, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. You know, I feel very happy when I see women who actually don't look back, but were always looking towards what's coming and not what has gone you know it's yeah. an amazing thing you need a whole lot of strength you need a whole lot of courage to be able to do that and achieve that you know wow. did i also tell you i'm a musician no you did not mention that okay i am one wow <laughs> I, I told I you i'm that's going that's there's that's a whole that. lot there's a whole yeah. lot who are going to be learning from you there's a whole lot are going to be learning from you well, thank you for honoring our show. Thank you for being on this show. God bless you. God bless you. I'm, I'm so happy and I don't take it for granted. I don't take this opportunity for granted. Like we I rightly said, we're talking on a topic that says how to handle uh, self, single parents, how we can handle our low self-esteem. That's what we're yeah. discussing today. That's what 
if you can in general just you know educate us what's this low self-esteem we're talking about some people do not even understand that whatever it is they have is low self-esteem how do you yeah. how do you recognize that okay so first of all self-esteem is um i'll put it in a lower term right a way that everybody will understand exactly. so low self-esteem is lack of believing in yourself right lack of believing in yourself the ability to have the motivation to rise every day and work and do things and live life happy like i see you smiling and i don't think you have low self-esteem even at if all smiling the way you are. i don't even know yeah, what it so, is so uh low self-esteem is what so many people especially nigerians have even though we deny that. And then most people are not even aware about what low self-esteem is all about. And it's something that exists in children, it's something that exists in, 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 in an adult, like a mother, a father. And I would say that low self-esteem is something that starts quite early in childhood, yeah. right? And what causes that is that you have lack of support from your parents right. or whoever is your caregiver. So you're not giving the opportunity to express yourself. You're not giving the opportunity to be yourself and do things for yourself. So that means makes you feel like mm, I'm worthless. It's, it's okay. That that's the right word. Like that feeling of I don't want anything. Yeah. You know, that's what low self-esteem is. Yes, and yes. opposite of low self-esteem is believing that you can do anything and you can achieve anything, and you see that in the person's attitude when you meet such a person for someone with, with low self-esteem which is one thing i want everybody listening today to know that one of the key things you would know when you have low self-esteem or you watch out or how you will know that you have low self-esteem mm -hmm. is when you are afraid to to have conversations among people so exactly. you, you'll be afraid because you feel that, oh, you're not going to make sense. You're not going to act right. Yeah. So that's, just, that's a, a very good sign of uh, low self-esteem. And if you have low self-esteem, you won't even feel like getting out of bed. Like sometimes you just feel like relaxing and just seeing a movie. You don't want people to see you. So it's, it's uh, low self-esteem is something we see both in children and, and in adults. And for the single mothers, it becomes even very Exactly. Much, that's much that, that's what I wanted now. to ask. In that context of yeah. single mother, single parenting, how does it play? How does low yeah. self-esteem? Okay. And then the all, children. I say that, that, yeah, the, the, where um, low self-esteem play out very well in single parents for the, for the mother is when you feel that you don't, when you don't have a supportive partner or as a single parent, you have lost your partner either by death or the person left you. So for, for the woman, she feels worthless because in our culture, we all grow up knowing that, oh, a man is the person that gives you value. Yeah. A man is that person that protects you. A man yeah. is, is that person that, that guides you and leads you. So all of a sudden you find yourself alone. This man has left you. And most of those times you see that the man left you and followed another woman or got engaged or married to another woman, which hurts you. So for us women, it rises that, that thing in you. You're like, like questioning yourself. Is there something about me that is not good? Is it that I don't talk well? Is it that I don't cook well? Is it that I don't have what it takes to keep a man, right? Exactly. So this makes you have low self-esteem and for the man if maybe the, the woman have left you or your your partner died so you somewhat feel also worthless because it's like when you see a man that is with a woman you know driving her you take her oh. to a mall you're buying things of course it makes you feel good about yourself and when you come to the public maybe you're in in, in the church or in 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 a meeting or something you see other men come out and say my wife then you can brag also and say my wife or say exactly. my children so yes yeah, so uh also uh not being able to live up to expectations 
as a father, as a mother, can give you low self-esteem. Self yes. And it can come to play when you're not able to, uh, um, um, you're not able to fulfill your daily function, needs, or the, your the daily well. needs of your your parents, both financially and physically and emotionally. Yes. Once you're not able to do these things, you feel worthless. You feel like, what am I living for? So these things can can make you feel have a, a low self esteem. Yes. Wow, wow. You know, sometimes most of the challenges we have when it comes to single motherhood, single parenthood, the minute that happens, you know, automatically it resets. If even even for someone or a woman who used to think that oh I'm beautiful I'm this, the minute you find yourself in that state, you just automatically lock out you understand yeah. you feel the world has come to an end you feel the you know sometimes it leads them into this low self-esteem you understand that's trauma yeah. some people feel traumatized by the experience probably what happened during the time that made them become a single mother because yeah. we've recorded so many situations where even rape have had someone who became a single mother through rape okay so imagine what that person's battles when yeah. it comes to mingling when it comes to you know moving around with the pair it's really a very difficult thing it's a very sensitive topic yeah. it's a very sensitive, yeah. sensitive topic and Second, i must say yes yeah yeah, yeah. Go, ahead, yeah. go ahead Okay, so I must say that it's that way, especially for the women, because of uh, the kind of um, the kind of way we are programmed growing up, right? So, because yes. it's not the same when you go to the Western world, because most women in the Western world are grown to have uh, to know their worth, right? So, at an early stage, you know that you can go to school, you can go out there and work, earn some money, and take care of yourself, buy your car do what you want to do but in our culture the woman is told that you can't buy your own car you can't buy your own house you can't take care of yourself and then what happens is that the moment you're with a man who gives you a car who gives you a house yeah. and all of a sudden something happens what happens is that you're shattered you lose your personality you're worthless so the only thing you you have ringing in your head is how can i make it i can't do it and that's why you see that so many people are struggling. Oh, I want to answer somebody's name. I name. want to do this. I don't no want matter, to do that. No matter how it is, exactly. just let me just answer the name. Exactly. So this this comes. Uh, it's I think if it is a cultural thing, right? And then the woman is lost. She's shattered. But I, I guess you and I, I, I personally, I'm not that kind of person who grew up with uh, believing that. Yes, I, I know the value of a man in, in a woman's life because they both complement each other. Each other. And I'm not talking only about the, this in the context of marriage. I'm talking about the way God has uh, created the world. A man needs the woman as a woman needs the man. And a man has to be full and a woman has to be full for them to complement each other, either in marriage, in friendship, or whatever you call it, in relations in general, right? So yes. you have to be prepared as a man. You have to be prepared as a woman and have something in you that boosts your self-esteem that whether you are with a man or without a man, you're good to go. Well, someone is asking yeah. a question online right now. Okay. She said, All right. I do think I don't have what it takes to have a partner. Imagine, she just asked. She just not really asked. She said that online right now. I do think okay. I don't have what it takes to have a partner. Are you, can you hear low self-esteem from that talk? She said, I, I don't think, or I do think. I, I she think said she, she does she, think. She, she, okay, said okay. she said she thinks she does not have what it takes to have a partner. Absolutely. That's, that's a sign of low self-esteem. That's it. When you like me and one person, I'm not married after after um, I, I lost lost in the relationship of uh, eight years. I'm not married, but I can tell you that I, I don't think I'm, I'm I, I think that I don't have what it takes to to keep a man. I think I have everything it takes to keep a man. Mm -hmm. I can cook, 
I can take care of a home. I have everything it takes to keep a woman, to keep a man or to, to, to be in a relationship or keep a marriage, right? I'm not in it because I chose not to be in it, right? I chose not to get married again and I chose not to be in a relationship, not because I don't have what it takes. Right. So what happens is that when I go out there and I see a man and a woman holding hands and happily, I just smile and I'm happy with them. I don't look at the woman and I feel, wow, look at this woman. I have something she has. I, I don't have something that she has. That's exactly. Right? So I don't feel that way. Yeah. Because I'm happy where I am. Not because I can't keep a man or I don't have what it takes, but because I made a choice exactly. not to. Yeah. So that's a, that's a, that's a very good example of. So what, what, what are you advising her? What, what would you be telling her right now? Because obviously, okay. She's just stating how she feels, you know? Okay. She's just so stating how she all, feels. First of all, if you're a woman or you're a man and you've seen the signs of low self-esteem, which we've already said it, said it here, when you, feel, you don't feel like getting out of bed, when you are afraid to share with your friends and you're afraid to talk with people, you feel that you have something in you that you don't have what it takes to 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 give value to people if you feel that um you can't take care of your children if you there are so many things you, and even it plays out in how you dress you know because i i say to women i say to men you don't have to have millions of naira you don't mm -hmm. don't have to have hundreds of thousands of naira for you to mean? dress well yes I, I i have seen a situation where you buy clothes of 100 naira 200 naira still looking cute so I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that uh, believes that you must dress on a designer's clothes before you, mm. before you look good. But then when you have low self-esteem, you don't even make efforts to, to look good. You, you, you just feel like being by yourself and hiding, right? Exactly, and yes. This, this destroys you because you can't go into business. You can't do anything meaningful for yourself. There's nothing. When it talks about personal development, you cannot do anything for yourself. So if you're a woman or a man and you're listening to me right now and you feel that you have these signs, that you feel you don't have what it takes to keep a woman or you don't have what it takes to rise above whoever you are and live the life of your dreams, if that's what, what you feel right now, I want to tell you that the reason why you feel that way is because you have no value in you. You have nothing valuable you feel that resides inside of you if you have something you can offer anybody that is one first sign of self-esteem like when i well, put it in, in simple terms if you're a man and you're a plumber and you can fix uh the toilet seats very well so when you do that perfectly and you're paid for it that thank you oh you did such a great job is what makes you have that self esteem high self-esteem you feel good about yourself because you feel that you've done something that is yeah great. something beautiful if you're a hairdresser, yes if you're a, a hairdresser and you are in your salon and you make somebody's hair and you make it so beautiful and you, you're getting compliments and you're getting referrals what happens is that it boosts your self-esteem so when you wake up in the morning, you feel like going back to that work. You feel like making more hair because you, you like yes. what you're hearing. Right. So the reason why you, you have low self-esteem is because you don't have value in yourself. So what do we do to come out of this? You've got to find something to do. Mm. You've got to find your bearing. You've got to find something you're passionate about. I'm one person that a few years ago, you see, when you talk about low self-esteem, of course, I know that I'm one person who never actually struggled with self-esteem because even while, while I was uh, going through the process of annulment for my marriage, I was still like confident in myself because I, 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 know, I, know, I knew what was happening. I knew it was tough. I knew things were, wasn't going right. But one thing I want you to know is that even with such situations and such circumstances, when you don't have value in yourself, you cannot believe in yourself. You cannot have high self-esteem. You cannot boost your self-esteem. So what I want you to do, you don't have to have the money because I've had situations where people are feeling that, oh, she's speaking right like this now because she, she's okay, she's successful. No. What I would tell you is that rise every day. Let me give you one example of one thing you can do. 
You yeah. can read and write. Pick one book and read for yourself. Pick one book and read for yourself. For yourself, yes. When you pick a book and read, right, you see that the information you get from that book could make you change your mindset. Or let's say you got a new idea. You got a new perspective. Even that you are listening to this uh, online uh, program is a sign that, okay, I want to learn something new. Exactly. So whatever you learn here, if you take that and go out there and explain it to somebody and the person is looking at you and is like, wow, there's something different in this person, that's value you're adding to yourself. Mm. One of the key things you might feel right now as a single parent is that, oh, the world has left me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that I need to be in marriage or to be in a relationship before I succeed. That is not true. What you need is to rise, remove all the negative chatter, all the negative things you hear in your head. In your head, yes. Remove that and re replace it with, I am awesome. I am born I am great. beautiful. I am born to succeed. So by the time you give yourself and feed yourself with those words, and don't just say the words, right? Write the words. Paste them on your walls. Paste them anywhere you go. People might think you're crazy, but you want to remind yourself who you are. Stay close to people who are not naysayers. Don't stay close. Stay close to people like comfort. <laughs> stay close to people like me. Yes. Who will push you? Who will make you smile? Who, when you hang around them, you will always get materials. You will always yes. get things that will push you, that will make you feel good, that will make you feel... And come on, ask questions. Ask comfort questions. Connect with me as well. Ask me questions. And by the time you begin to do things that uplift you, that push you to the higher level, Come on, low self-esteem self will be far away from you. It flies out of the window, trust me. Yes. It flies so, off. Don't be hard on yourself. There is nothing you cannot do. Now, let me tell you from my experience. I've had people tell me, oh, because I can't speak well, I have great ideas, but because I can't speak well, I can't talk in public like you're talking. I, I have this uh, gift of uh, sharing and teaching and doing this, but I, I don't have good command of English language. And I say to people, have you ever listened to Chinese people talk about life? Exactly. Did you, do, can you hear them speak English? They don't speak English. They don't. They don't have to speak English. When you have that value in you, you have something to teach in your dialect, of course, you can the translator, and exactly. as you're talking, there's somebody translating for you. Yes. So you don't even actually have to have a good command of English. Yes, it's okay for you to learn, but it becomes a, a, lo a lifelong process for you to learn how to speak English because you need that to travel around the world, to go to places, but you don't even have, need that to communicate. Wow. Wow. And please, one of the greatest things you can do to build your self-esteem is please read. Read, yes. Reading will give you so much value. Reading will give you so much value. It, you don't even have to. And then it also determines the kind of book you read. There are certain things. The kind of you, books, exactly. Yes, you kind read. Of books to read. So when yes. you read books that remind you who you are, that boost your self-confidence and share stories about people who were down and all of a sudden they rose and beca became superheroes of course why not you begin to you know feel better and better and better and remember if you're a parent if you're a mother a single mother or you're a single father if you have low self-esteem remember that you're going to raise children with low self-esteem children yes yes exactly. so that's why you have to watch this there is nothing keeping you down. There is, you don't have a place having low self-esteem. So you've got, you've got to have something doing. And when I say you've got to have something doing, you must not have money to do that. I had uh, a chat with someone a uh, few weeks ago, and she shared her story about how she needed money to start a, a business. She didn't even have money. What she had to do was she went into the market, then she was helping carry people's loads and they would pay her and she saved up some money. And then she started uh, selling by the roadside. And from the roadside, she started selling bread. From selling bread, she had a bakery. And from bakery, right now she has a salon where she makes meals. I'm not talking about just any house salon. 
I'm talking about a very big salon. She has her, her, her uh, Polish uh, designs that is in her name. She has like, she's got, got it all. But she started from the scratch. She started without, with zero capital. And you too can do that. Do not let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Your self-confidence comes when you rise in the morning and tell yourself, okay, I want to sew clothes and I want to learn how to sew. So, and you yes. get up on, in the morning and you walk up to someone in her shop and say, good morning, madam. Or good afternoon, madam. Please, I have the passion to do this. I'm a single mother or I'm a single father. And I want to learn how to do this, but I don't have money. Please, can you, can you allow help? me to just come into your shop every day just to stay around and see what you guys do? Yes. Please. That's self-confidence. That's a sign that you want to become something. And when you do that and the person allows you to come, you know what means? When you get home, you'll be like, wow, I didn't pay any money. And, I, <laughs> and you're I doing to, it. So that, yes. So when you keep moving that way, of course, you have self-esteem. And I, I just want you to know that being um, down, depressed, having low self-esteem cannot Will take not... you anywhere. Yes. It will destroy your children. It will destroy you. But when you have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your God, you rise every morning, ask yourself and ask God, why did you put me here? Why did you allow me to see the life That's, of yes. the world? It is not your work to figure out the money for you to be set up. It is not your work to figure out how life would, would play out. It is your duty to be available. To be available to allow God to use you for what he wants mm. to use you. Because you're not here on your own accord. I'm not here on my own accord. Yeah. The program we are having right now have already been ordained and orchestrated by God even before the foundation of the world. And yes, I guess exactly. that is the reason why we are here together and we are doing this together today. Okay? So wake up every, every morning and be available. And please, I'm going to share with Comfort my um, affirmations that I've written so that you can, you can look at this. I'll share the e-copy. So that you can look at this every day, read it out loud, and let me read an affirmation I have with my children every morning, right? Okay, yes, please. I want you to understand. So why I want to read it is I want you to know what affirmation is. Affirmation are positive words you use to remind yourself who you are. Who you are, yes. They are the things you tell yourself to replace all those negative, I'm not good enough, I can't even do this, I can't even stand again, I can't, oh, in fact, these people, have, they what have left me. So those are the positive words. So when we rise every morning, we say, I am a child of God. Mm -hmm. I am the citizen of the kingdom. Yes. I am the world's greatest. All my supply comes from God. I am beneath and above no one. And everything is working for my highest good. I have the power, I have the strength, and I have the ability to overcome anything that will come my way this day. Through Christ our Lord. This is our affirmation every morning. Every morning. And it's so wow. You can build your own. Secondly, please, whether you are a man or you're a woman, one of the key things also that will help you is rising every morning and having at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes exercise. Don't sleep till it's already 6:30. It's rise up around 5 a.m. when everywhere is still calm. Right. Warm up yourself when everybody's still sleeping warm up yourself it could be anything you could put music and lower it down and dance and dance and sweat when this is happening you're opening up your brain your mind yes you're building your mind yes you're yes. having positive you're thoughts done. positive yes. thoughts roll down you will exactly your energy that early in the morning you see the way it is because you are able first of all it's, it's, a, it's a great challenge that you, that you are able to rise early in the morning when others are sleeping mm. it's a great achievement it exactly. makes you feel in charge of your day. It makes you feel above others. So when you have done this exercise, it could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Once you're done, pick up a book and read. It could be the word of God. It could be a book. It could be listening to something, a message or something that will empower you. Do this first thing in the morning. And I bet you after some weeks, your uh, esteem is going to be, you know, 
Pursuing what you are trying to say <laughs> you, know, you know, at the end of the day, most of the questions I have written down, you've actually answered all of them or most of them, even before asking, you know. Sometimes yes. we find ourselves in situations where we just were just there. I usually tell people around me, there is nothing impossible by me. The only thing I know how to do is to listen. I'm a very good listener, and I, I learn a lot by critics. Talking about criticism, most people who have this, especially most single mothers, who have this self, uh, self uh, low self-esteem, they don't take corrections. You're hitting them on a particular thing, and the next minute they are going back on that thing. And there also something I actually notice. There are people who what they do is just deny the fact that they have children. I know of some mothers, single mothers, they have children. But when you ask them, ah, no, I don't have a child. I don't, but they have children, they've sent them. Sorry, they begin to hide the fact that, oh, they don't have children. I don't know what that means. That I see as low self-esteem too. You understand? Yeah. That also I see as a low self-esteem. Because yeah. why can't you be proud of the fact that you're a mother, regardless of what the situation is, regardless of what the challenges yeah. is? You understand? I'm so yeah. very happy. I don't know if you can oblige us and we'll do this more often. I don't know Why if you not? can ask us, <laughs> yes. you know. Why not? Oh, I'm so very happy. I'm so very happy that I'm, I'm sure some of us have learned a lot. Someone is sending her love. Someone is sending her love, and she's. I, I'm sure she's very well educated by this session. She's very well educated. In few words, how can a mother improve, or rather, build herself and live? in self-confidence okay so when you wake up in the morning as a woman right i've already said first of all rise up early as early as 5 a.m right remember early to bed early to rise yes. so you go to bed early leave your phone alone exactly. <laughs> leave your phone alone in the <laughs> night you know because that's where people that's what people often run to when they have no self-esteem understand so yeah. they go and watch pictures on facebook and on instagram and all that so leave your phone alone go to bed early rise up early as early as 5 a.m do this if you do this respectfully i bet you you're going to regain your self-confidence you're going to be on top of your game so when you rise early in the morning do some exercise if you notice most women are struggling with their weight Okay. Yes, yes. So exactly. when you are struggling with your weight, you're not you, you don't feel beautiful. Even if you're okay with your you weight, you're confident. But you you feel you yes, you're not on top of your game. You don't feel good about yourself. You rise, just do some one ten minutes or fifteen minutes workout. It could be anything. It could be hands up, hands down. It could be anything. When you're done, please have your bath. When you have your bath make up please women make up, make up. Please, please say make it up. loud you, say you should go and draw uh yes on your face. you mustn't do that it could even be wet lips but well, make sure you put some powder on your face appreciate your body and then stand in the mirror and tell yourself i am beautiful i know that the first time you're going to do this you're you're going to feel worthless there are a lot of things that will come up right but um, maybe uh, comfort will give you, uh, will keep in touch with you, or when you keep in touch with me as well, you will get across some of the courses I do, so that you take like step-by-step yes. -step processes and what, what I'm talking about, how to build your self-confidence, how to boost your, your, your yeah. self so, uh, right? Someone is saying your that she fails, someone says she fails on the makeup side. <laughs> <That she's laughs> so yeah, you need to, you need to work on yourself. Wake up, you need to start working on you. that. Yes, yeah. So, you don't have to have the best of clothes, wash your clothes very well, wear something that looks very good on good. yourself. Now, women, do not reserve your clothes, 
bring out the best of your clothes even when you're not going out wear them you see yeah. the way you admire all those bankers that go to work all those people that i want you to dress that way and the next time you're buying clothes buy the kind of clothes that will make you look like a banker or a corporate person don't go wear something that will look make you look like a masquerade you dress well and after dressing well stand in the mirror and tell yourself i am beautiful, I look beautiful. Anybody who, yes anybody who is close to me will tell you that i do a lot of mirror work when I say mirror work, I mean standing in a mirror, even naked, and appreciating my body. Telling myself, man, you look gorgeous. Look. You look beautiful. God made you so well. And this is even including when I don't have money. When I don't, I feel that, oh, I want to do this project and things are getting difficult. As I stand in the mirror and I tell myself, you are an amazing human being. You are breaking boundaries. You are doing great things. I tell myself that wow. in the mirror. So when um, I tell myself I'm beautiful, and remember what I said, the first time you're going to say I'm beautiful in the mirror, because you're not used to it, there's a lot of negative words that will come. Head, How can yeah. you look beautiful when your, 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 yeah, your, your lips <laughs> is facing this way? How can Don't you mind that thought. How you be, so do not mind those thoughts. Just keep telling yourself, I am beautiful. If you do this for one week, the next time you come to the mirror and you say I'm beautiful, you give yourself a beautiful smile. Because you will begin to appreciate truly. Wow, I have nice nose, good lips. Wow, it's like I talk very well. Like the way I talk. In fact, even stand on the mirror and talk to yourself. My name is. And I. Children, I love my life. I like the way things are going for me. Just say things about yourself in a mirror. And then gradually, like that, exactly, when you, yeah. you, you meet other people, you're going to feel good about yourself and you express yourself that way. Another thing yeah. I want that woman to do is have self-awareness. You need to be self-aware. You need to know yourself very well. There are some women that there are certain buttons when you press, they don't like it. But you are not even aware of that. There are some women that are not aware of who they are personally. You yourself, what you want and what you don't want. You need to write them down. You need to be self-aware. You need to know your do's and your don'ts. Like me, when I'm with somebody and you send me some naughty messages, expect I'm not going to honor that. I'm not going to respond to you. So I already know what I want and what I don't want. So when exactly. I meet somebody and you're just being stupid, I walk away because I already I am self-aware. I know what I want for life and I know what I want to do. I'm, I know people I want to engage, right? So you need to have self-awareness. Thirdly, you have to have the vision of the woman you want to become. You have to, when I say vision, maybe some people might think is, I don't know what kind of uh, definition you give about vision. But you have to have an image of yourself that you want. I'll tell you comfort. I'll tell you anybody listening to me right now. A house cannot be built without the architect already putting down the map of how it's going to be. Exactly. Before you make any construction, you have to come up with a plan. You have to come up with the plan of how that thing is going to be. Yes. So have a vision, the image of that woman you want to become. If that woman is going to be a movie star, have that in your mind. It has nothing to do with what you have. Oh. Even if you don't have a car, but you want to be that woman who buys her own car, exactly. her own car have that image in your head. So each morning you wake up, have the image of yourself. I want to be a banker. I want to be a movie star. I want to be a comedian. I want to be a designer. I want to be this. I want to be that. Yes. Whatever you want to be, have that perfect image. And don't play yourself small. When you're creating yes when you're yourself. when you actually imagine yourself you don't play yourself small yes because don't you lay do... yourself down exactly so if you want five billion dollars one million dollars hundred million dollars if you want to see yourself traveling to, from dubai to paris to canada to us have that image in yourself have that image in yourself for yourself and also for your children and when you have this image of yourself i tell you as you're rising from your bed you are going to be so confident in yourself. Fourthly, please, women, even the single uh, men among us or the, the single parents among us, please do a lot of journaling. When I mean, what I mean by journaling, 
write about your experiences, write about how you feel, write how you want to be, write how you want this year to end. If you want to go on vacation, you want to do something beautiful, write it down. I want to travel to, to, to Obudu, Obudu Katu Raj, give myself a beautiful vacation. Don't bother if that will be possible or not. Don't bother Let it how not be determined happen. by what Just, you have in your pocket as of the exactly. time. Exactly. Just write it down. What I can assure you is that from the very moment I had zero account, I had nothing in my bank account till right now that I am successful and I'm pushing still further, I will tell you that every single thing I have achieved came because I had the image of what I wanted. The life I'm living right now is exactly the image I had when I left my ex-husband. That was exactly the image, everything I have right now, from my car, the house, the life, what I'm doing, the kind of job I'm doing, is exactly the image of what I have. That's a picture. Probably in the, yes, I'm gonna share with you, Comfort, a picture of my study corner. Oh. I wanna show you, this, this is a part of my, Okay, this is part of my office. So that corner, I yeah. called it my reading corner. It was my creative corner. It was a corner where I was building what I wanted. I'm going to share with you. I'll share the image side by side with what I have right now. So then I didn't have a shelf to put my books. I will have my books on the floor, oh, and yeah. on the table. So I'm going to share with you so that you see where I started. So I'm not telling you what is impossible. Exactly. I'm telling you what is 100% possible have the good image of what you want to see yeah, yeah. and rise in the morning and you're going to have self-confidence wow it's